well, you all are a nice looking group. <laughs> Hello, Jamoke, another one of our students. I um, just came back from London. Uh, it's very wonderful to be there. They send you their greetings, and I'm sure you send them theirs, yours. Uh, they're a little stiffer than we are. So I don't know how close um, Brooklyn is. I mean, Baltimore is to Brooklyn. <laughs> but in Brooklyn, we are raucous. <laughs> so please don't be proper, because we're in church. If you hear something that uh, refers to you, let me have an amen, a hallelujah. Or if you're just too shamed, just raise your hand. <laughs> just raise your hand. When you hear your story, just raise your hand. We know that acknowledgement is the first step towards healing. So sometimes we have to acknowledge something so that we can heal it. I um, was asking the Holy Spirit this morning what it is that I should speak to you about, and he gave me a very radical idea to share with you. It's radical in these days and times. Because so many of us are trying to do better. Would that be accurate? Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Just trying to do better. We ain't saying better than what? <laughs> better than bad. <laughs> better than worse. <laughs> better than yesterday. But the Holy Spirit sent me today to tell you, forget about better, go for great. Go for great. Because you can do better than Boo Boo and Fifi. That ain't hard. You can do better than you did five years ago. That is not hard. But when we start talking about going for great, there's a certain requirement that comes to each of us. See, if you just making $45 an hour or a week or a day or whatever, $5 more is doing better. Mm -hmm. And if you got a job where you used to be on public assistance, that's better. Or if you on public assistance where you used to be bopping people in the head, that's better. <laughs> But God said, forget about good, go for great. Because great requires a connection between you and the universe to create and distribute something of a higher order. Let me run that by you again. It requires something within you, a connection between you and the universe to create and deliver. See, because we're good at creating stuff. We, we have all kind of good ideas. I bet y'all had about 52 ideas today, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I had an idea. Then you call somebody, let me tell you my idea. And we will talk our idea to death and never move one foot, finger, eyeball, lip, hair to get it done. See, that's good. But great requires a connection between you and the universe to create and deliver. See, creation is, is it's active. You know, like you can't just put the egg and the flour and the baking soda and the bowl on the table and create a cake. That's not going to happen. You got to get in there and do something. And the thing about creation is you got to do it in order. because so many of us are out of order. Not nobody in here. <laughs> Them people you work with. <laughs> I can tell by your auras that y'all are all in order. <laughs> Creation requires that you do it in order. Inner Visions Institute for Spiritual Development presents Iyama Van Zandt, Taking the Next Steps, with special guest Amir and Tulani Kennard. May 3rd, Aaron Davis Hall, 